guys? This is Kevin from Epic Gardening, and as you can see, the channel is living up to its name because we have some epic tower garden going on right here. I just want to show you. I'm going to go close up and just give you a little breakdown. This is a Viroflay spinach plant. To be honest, I've never seen spinach leaves this big in my entire life. And granted, I haven't grown Viroflay spinach past the microgreen stage before, so this could be some sort of genetic um, difference between the Viroflay variety and maybe something that we see in a in a grocery store. But dude, these things are huge, and this is a spinach leaf. The kale looking very awesome, looking like a, a standard kale plant, but it's it's thriving. Chard is finally starting to pick itself up. It's the it's the uh, rhubarb variety. I'd really love to see these leaves explode. Maybe it's not liking the nutrient mix that's in here as much as the other plants, but regardless, it is still growing. All my lettuce varieties ready to harvest. Need to really start picking some of these leaves off. Let's spin down though to what really is taking the cake, and that is the beans, the pole beans. So this is a purple potted, and as you can see, it is really trying to climb. I'm just gonna actually let it climb up the tower and kind of maybe sort of create a uh, canopy almost. See if I can connect it to this fence maybe. I bet it'll get up that high. Uh, over here, we got the dragon's tongue, which is doing pretty damn well if you ask me. Looks like some baby flowers might be starting to pop up pretty soon. But really the star of the show is this zucchini, or I think it's actually a cucumber plant. These are some gigantic leaves. This is like a dinosaur style leaf right here. Big old heart shaped. I mean, look at the size of the, the stalk. It's absolutely massive. And just more and more and more keeps coming out, which is just really great to see. Um, good thing I put this on the bottom because really wouldn't want that in the middle kind of taking up and clogging light. Uh, that would be one issue I could say is if you're growing a plant as big as this one, it's gonna take over a couple of the extra pods. So something to consider, but nevertheless, it's very cool. Uh, just a quick pick, peek under the hood. Haven't done anything new to the nutrients, but boom, we've got some massive root growth going on. And I'm pretty sure this is just from the, the bean and most probably the cucumber plant. But nevertheless, I mean, that thing, is absolutely massive and the roots are looking really, really healthy, uh, which is very important. Uh, there's a little Zyme Alive bag right there. Uh, the other tower garden starting to thrive as well. Everything is slowly picking up. The plants are looking a little light, a little light green, which means that it's probably about time for me to add a little bit stronger nutrient mix in there because they're probably a little bit starved. So I'm gonna repeat the same experiment I did in that I'm gonna put the Zyme Alive biocatalyst in at the same time as I put in the uh, more concentrated vegetative growth amount of nutrients and we're gonna see this time I'll take a picture before and then I'll take a picture 24 hours after of each of these plants and just kind of see what's going on with that and how quickly they really grow get some metrics going get some actual measurable results so that's what's going on in the tower uh, I've got a video coming up very shortly with the new LED light grow that I'm going to be doing indoors. And I also need all of your suggestions on what you want me to grow. I'd like to do something that is just vegetative and then something that's also going to flower like tomatoes or maybe beans or peppers or something like that, just to see if the LED light can handle that. A quick little flash of the rest of the garden. This is the soil stuff. Tomatoes blowing up and looks like one of these bad boys is getting pretty close to ripe. If you can see, Right there, that's a black from Tula variety. Um, so that's what's going on in the garden. If you want to comment, like, subscribe, tell me what I want, tell me what I should grow in the LED guide, uh, please let me know. Other than that, keep growing, keep growing these boss plants. Kevin from Epic Gardening, stay self sufficient.